Here we have the E63 Mercedes. I'm doing best to point out any marks, any imperfections and things like that. So we'll start with the front right alloy and tyre here. Uh, so you've got Goodyear Eagle F1 tyre on the front right. And overall that alloy's in good condition. Uh, but you have just got obviously bits of corrosion. I mean you can see on a couple of the spokes and just around the centre of the alloy there. Uh, it does look as if it's potentially being refurbished at some point as well. And you've got plenty of tread on the front right tyre there. You've got just over 6mm. And the next thing I've noticed, uh, just pointing out, like I said, I'll try my best to point out any marks. You've got a very small chip on the wing mirror there. If I stand about a metre away, you can see how minor it is. Around the right-hand side of the car there, and that's all good. It is quite clean overall. I did have a little look around it just a few minutes ago, and it is quite tidy. Uh, but obviously, you know, it's still about eight years old so there will be a few marks overall this alloy again in very good shape but you've just got bits of corrosion around the center of the alloy again i think these alloys have been refurbished again another good year f1 tire on the back right here and you've got nearly four and a half mil of tread there now come around the back of the e63 here of course you've got your rear parking sensors as well um, the next thing I've noticed, this is probably the worst bit on the car. Even then, in my opinion, it's not that bad. Um, it's just a, obviously where someone's been loading something into the boot and they've just sort of caught and, you know, sort of scraped it a bit there. So it's a bit of a scuff, but again, if I stand about a metre away, you can see it is very, very minor. And you have got the electronic tailgate on this one as well. And that works exactly as it should. Yeah, plenty of room in the boot there as well. You've got the parcel shelf. I'll just close that. Now coming around the back left hand side of the car here. That's all good. And you've got the back left alloy and tyre here as well. Again, overall that alloy is in good shape. Just a couple of little small marks here, a bit of a scratch. And again, like I said, I think all the alloys have been refurbished just from uh, feeling the alloys that just feel slightly rough, a bit more coarse than sort of usual. And you've got just over six and a half mil of tread there. I've noticed there's a small scratch here. It's like a black uh, sort of scratch. Hasn't gone through the paint, but you can feel it. Again, stood about a meter away. It is very, very minor. Go around the left-hand side here as well. And generally that's good. Uh, you've got a bit of a chip here. It's quite minor, but again, about a meter away you can see how small it is so around the left hand side and that's good and you've got the front left alloy and tire here as well again another good year eagle f1 i believe and that alloy overall is in good shape as well and let's see you've got just over six and a half mil of tread on the front left there as well now coming around the front, I did just notice there's a couple of very small sort of stone chips, but nothing sort of major. That's all quite good. And again, just a very small chip again there. But overall, that's in very, very good shape. A couple of very small little chips on the bonnet as well. And you've got the windscreen as well, free from any major chips or cracks or anything like that. And of course you've got the sunroof there. And you have got two keys with this one as well, which is worth pointing out. Now if I just show you the inside, so you've got the driver's door there. That's all in good shape. You've just got a couple of light little scratches on the, on the door handle there, but otherwise that's all good. We've got these lovely leather seats here a little bit of wear just on that bolster just there but again nothing major it's something you will expect with an eight-year-old car and again just a bit more here and that could potentially just have a small clean as well now if i just come inside okay and if i just i'll start the car up as well and as you can see you've got the the mileage on that 61,000 that's gone now as you can see that's all running exactly as it should be obviously no warning lights on the dashboard apart from just being a bit low on fuel if you 
put some in before it goes out. Obviously, you've got the automatic lights there as well. That's all in good condition. There's a little bit of wear just on this part of the steering wheel, uh, but otherwise, it's all good. And that's all working exactly as it should be. Of course, you've got your heated, and it looks like you've got cooled seats as well. And you've got the front left seat here. I'll point out if there's any rips or anything, but I can't see anything that's all quite tidy. And the front left door there, that's all good. Of course, you've got the electric seats as well. Nice bit of wood trim there. Now, if I just show you into the back of the car as well. And you've got the back right door, that's all good. The, rear, the back of the front seats here and they're all in really good condition as well and the back left door that's all good and the rear leather seats here again I can't see I mean they hardly look like they've been sat in at all in the back seats here and of course you've got your ice fix fittings just in the bottom the back of those seats now it does look as if as well, I've only just realised, it's got a really good spec this one, you've got the blind spot uh, indicator as well. Yeah, it's a really nice car, overall in very good condition uh, for an 8 year old car. Thanks for watching the video.